Peace y'all, I am ICC and today I am taking you step by step on how to update the firmware on your RB864 Bluetooth controller. This is the Nintendo 64 controller by Retrobit and 8-Bit Duo. The quality is comparable to the OEM Nintendo 64 controller, so I would recommend it. Anyways, let's jump right in. The first thing you want to do is go to the 8-Bit Do website. The address will be 8bitdo.com slash n64 slash support dot html. I will also put the link in the description so you have easy access and can just click or copy and paste. When the page is finished loading, you will need to scroll down some until you see the downloads link. Click downloads and a window will pop up with two links and a scannable QR code. We want the first link firmware for Windows slash Mac OS. Once you click it, make sure you save it and then come to your downloads. Once you find the downloaded zip file, you will need to extract it. Right click it and extract it here. It will only take a second. Find the executable file and launch it. You may need to give permission, but don't worry, it's fine. When you have this box on your screen, you will need to grab your RB864 controller. The first thing you will need to do is hold L, R, and start. Hold this for three seconds and wait for the orange or red LED start to blink. Once you do this, make sure you have the supplied USB cable handy at this point. Once you are ready, plug the USB cable into the controller and into the PC or laptop. We now come back to the computer and you will notice the box is now clickable. So click the update button and after you click it, you will need to select the DAT file. This is the actual patch. After you select it, click open. After you click open, the last thing you will need to do is click OK. It's telling you the version of the firmware you have and the version of the firmware you will have. So click OK and the upgrade will take a minute or two. I won't make you watch all of that. I'll kind of just fast forward through it here real quick. A few moments later, the patch will finish so you can click OK and proceed to close all of that. The RB8 controller doesn't have Wii U and PS3 support until you update the firmware, so I would recommend getting this done even if it's just for this reason alone. If you want to see the controller in use, I have a test play video showing how it works and also an unboxing video that I did the day it arrived. Anyways, I am ICC. Thank you for watching. Peace.